The term theonomy is merely a reference to God's law. In fact, the word theonomy from theos and logos means refers to God's law. So theonomy just means God's law. It doesn't mean men who speak for God or, who, or that man can speak for God. It means that we have to recognize God's law as God's and therefore authoritative. Today, the church doesn't have any answer because the church is still saying, well, yes, we want things to be Christian. And they may say we want people to obey the Ten Commandments, but they have no idea what that looks like. Well, the laws of God are really um, applications of God's law. The Ten Commandments were general principles of the law, but the case laws were individual examples. And sometimes those case laws were seemingly picayunish. I mean, they were sometimes very irrelevant. There's a case law, for instance, about if you're hunting uh, and you're hungry and you find a bird's nest with eggs in it, it says you, uh, you can't take the mother and the eggs both. And that was reference to the commandment to honor your father and the mother. That was an application. In other words, you should so honor your father and mother that you would think a minor application like a mother on the nest that you wouldn't kill both the mother on the eggs. But that was to help us understand how important it was to honor our parents. So this is how the law was used. So a lot of these times, these, these, these laws that sometimes it's hard for us to understand exactly what they were referring to, but they were applications. We need to do that. We need to apply God's law. Instead, we just look at the big principle that nobody knows how to apply some of the commandments. Well, we shouldn't covet. That means we, you know, we shouldn't uh, desire what other other peoples, but we can't really apply that. And we certainly don't apply thou shalt not steal or, or thou shalt not covet to our economics and the Federal Reserve and our creation of uh, currency out of thin air, and how immoral that is, and how we're stealing people's money by inflation. We do, when people save money, it should be saved. Instead, it disappears if they hold on to it as currency. And that's one reason why people speculate. They're trying to make money faster than they're losing it. And so people get reckless and they lose big. And so our failure to apply God's law has repercussions in society. And that's what we're talking about, about rebuilding things and institutions so that we don't force such crises into our culture.